WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update and currently up a bit of a mixed bag. That mix is really coming from the Dow transports, which are off 62 points. Otherwise, all of the other U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 137 points, about four tenths of a percent, three tenths for the S&P. That'd be 12 points. Basically flat, um, one, less than one tenth of a percent for the uh, NASDAQ 100. That's seven points to the upside, eight tenths for the Russell. That's a big mover out there. That's uh, trading out at 1752. That's up by uh, 13 buckaroonies. Silver. And gold are trading the upside. Silver's up a little over four and a half percent, a dollar three to the upset. Gold twenty-seven bucks. It's one and a half percent. Eighteen twenty-five is the print there. Lights be crude trade out at seventy-five seventy-two. That's up thirty-four cents. Natural gas is back forty-three pennies. That's uh, over seven percent move to the downside. It is testing its uh, prior lows out there. And the 30-year Treasury is back one point and 20 ticks. She's trading at 128.04. Well, Stevie, what does all that mean out there? Well, if we go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart, we'll see up in the upper left-hand side, we've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini is trying to make its uh, consolidation measured move. That would take us down into about the 37.56 level. If, in fact, price is moving down there, no reason for it to not test its October swing point. The top of that swing point is at 37.27. Now, what could get in the way of a move down there is that spot volatility, which is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. So that says we could or should or can could expect some pops to the upside. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ also in that same or similar pattern to the ES Mini. It has a consolidation measured move breakdown. Its initial price target is in the 10875 level. Price is already trading inside its swing point. The swing point low from a daily standpoint was the day of October 13th. So that suggests that uh, over time, the NQ should move down to the 10,875 level and below that 10,595. Now, the U.S. dollar index is currently trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That is the level of support. That bottom of that daily profile is at 103.64. We're trading at 103.51. I do have a 10-minute delay here. The price closes below that. That suggests at least testing its most recent low from just a few days ago. That low is down at the 102.87. If price closes below that, well, we likely see the equity markets move higher. We likely see gold and silver continue to move higher. Gold right now is trading above the top of its daily profile. It does have an A to B equals CD pattern that would give us a projection, initial price projection of 1907. In the case of silver, today it closed above 2395. Will the uh, be when basically be a close above its bear structured daily profile? And that suggests a move to 2506. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.